Hey there, everybody. Jason Padolan here without my hockey. And today we're going to listen to a clip from my most recent podcast, episode 82, where I interview head coach of the Colorado Avalanche, Jared Bedner, and I ask him what left the Colorado Avalanche on deadline day. And you might be surprised at his answer. And it is a great lesson for young players, not just young players, players everywhere on why his answer is so important. What was what was that swap all about? You mean what what left the Colorado Avalanche on that day, and, and what came in in that trade? Well, a great teammate left, an awesome guy that was just committed to our team and 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 just trying to get better every day and improve his game to to help our team win. Like Tyson was is an is an unbelievable teammate. He is a hard working guy and a great guy in our room, off the ice in the community. So there you have it. When asked what left the Colorado Avalanche on deadline day, the first things out of Jared Bednar's mouth wasn't a hardworking four-checker, a great penalty killer, a dependable third-line center. He said a great teammate left the Colorado Avalanche. A great human being left the Colorado Avalanche. And that, first and foremost, is what is going to be missed. Players often underestimate the value of character, of being a teammate of being a quality ambassador for the organization that you're with. This type of reputation for Tyson Yost precedes him now. Teams know what they're going to get with Tyson Yost, that he is going to be a valuable asset in a locker room. He's going to be a piece of that cultural puzzle that is required to win hockey games. And not everybody has that. So when we think about being a hockey player, we often think edges and shot and hockey IQ and all these things that we always put so much emphasis on, yet we rarely think about developing the personal human skills that allow us to be a better teammate, that allow us to be a great role model, and allow us to be a great participant in the community that we're in. If you can develop those skills, it will give you more opportunities as a hockey player, it will give you more longevity as a hockey player, and it will also increase your reputation in and outside of the sport. So learn from Tyson Yost, learn from Jared Bender's answer. This stuff is real, this stuff is important, this stuff will help you on your journey. Develop your character, develop the human side of you, and the hockey player will follow.